Well, thank you very much for coming. Despite the rain, we really appreciate it. I'm Lucy Birmingham, the FCCJ president and your MC for the day today. We're very honored to have as our guest speakers today the architect Kengo Kuma and Sonia Dillon Martin, who is founder of the Dillon Martin Foundation. Kuma san, as you probably know, is recognized worldwide for his many works, that, uh, many of which preserve Japanese building traditions. He has designed the Nezu Museum, the Suntory Museum, the new Kabuki Theater, and the office complex, among many others. I asked him, how many projects are you working on now? And he said, oh, about 50. So pretty busy guy. <laughs> OK, Sonia uh, Dylan Martin is a longtime art patron. We've known each other for many years, and founder uh, of the Dylan Martin Foundation uh, that promotes social activism through art, design, and architecture. They're here today to talk about their 2013 Community Week Material Equilibrium that includes efforts to rejuvenate the Japanese countryside, uh, encourage tourism, and many other things. So please welcome them. Thank you. So Sonia is going to speak first, right? Hello, thanks for coming. I would like to give you a little bit background of why I started the foundation and then how we have been enjoying this week as our community week in Japan. A um, couple of years ago, I felt uh, coming from India and I felt so much changes in India now, even my home is US. I was bo bothered by with the change and all the economic growth in India. Uh, the soul of India is not what I knew 30 years ago when I left. And having background in art, I thought maybe art is a neutral way to guide the society about ethics. And so we try to do different public arts projects that cover just the way we all ought to be living, good for us and good for the community we share our time with. So just to give you some background, this is something we did last this summer in California at my California house. To slow f for slow food, I have created a little urban farm, and this <laughs> I have olives and lavenders and a few other things. And Stanford, uh, I think she this uh, particular student is doing PhD in physics, and did dance performance with their dance lecturer about engaging the community into slow food. And to, now to talk particularly about this community week, I chose the word community week is how do we learn from our history and then contributing to a given society where we come to learn of their history. And then this evening we have a symposium to reflect on what we learned during this one week. And why we chose Japan was this year being the 62nd rebuild of Ise Jingu Shrine. Uh, I thought it was very appropriate to look into sustainability in architecture. And such a tiny little hut represent the soul of Japan. So I thought it's a great comparison between a small wooden structure by using the local wood against, let's say, Vatican. And so for us, it was a very good contrast to talk about sustainability and material equilibrium. That's why the topic was chosen, material equilibrium. So here is our visit <laughs> to Ishe Shrine. And we were able to have a great experience at Ishe Shrine with local architects guiding us. And we were able to go inside the shrine inside the first fence, and that was a moving experience. Even though lots of us not having the heritage of Japan, but the, f the spiritual feeling that you engage by being in such a place was very much uh, experienced by all of us. And then after that, we went and um, had a Okay, I'm going to try to remember the the dance performance. Ka Kagura? Kagura. 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 <laughs> Kagura. 
So the, after that, in the evening, we were able to have a presentation about the history of Ishejingu and all the rebuild process by a Danish architect who has been covering this for the last 40 years. So it was his third visit at the rebuild. And the next day, we went to the forest where um, the wood for Ishejingu comes from, and some of the wood is being planned for the next 200 years. For a lot of us coming from the US, a planning of a forest uh, that will be used 200 years uh, from now was a very exciting and unbelievable experience that things are planned in such a long time. And then after that, we went to see the workshop where the carpenters are working to build the shrine because there are still some shrines being rebuilt, the smaller ones. And the detail of our, the carpenters, how professional they were and how detailed their work was is also very exciting. We have about 45 students and professors participating in this week. And there are about 16 countries represented in this week's um, conference and workshop and about seven different universities. And here, then they were given a project to create mobile pavilions. And we had eight teams. And the, this is thanks to Kangakuma. <laughs> it's in his labs. All the different students uh, from different countries mixed together with the different professors. So Todai students working with press professor from abroad. One of the professors, two of the uh, professors who participated with us are here as well. Um, and they created eight different designs. And so on the 26th, they worked on that. And on the 27th, we went to Ogatsu in Miyagi Prefecture to re design a historic school that will be used as a community center to create agro-tourism for that uh, town, because this town is totally finished with tsunami. And then back next day at Todai, this is uh, structural engineering professor Jun Sato. So he was there to support all the eight teams. And their challenge for the teams was to create mobile pavilions that will build to send to different parts of Japan by inviting international scholars who should uh, get engaged with the local community and then transfer and create exchange between the local community and the communities they come from. And then yesterday evening we had our award ceremony and there were three uh, awards, one for beauty, so just the beauty and the aesthetics of the design. Second we call citizen for uh, the tagline for that is uh, global citizen for local impact and we got many ambassadors involved for the citizen award and we had artists uh, um, doctors and many different professions to be involved in our jury so with the so kangakuma was able to guide them on the matter of architecture, but rest of the jury was mixed of many different professions. And now I will ask Kangakuma, I will quickly go over the different designs, but I would like him to speak about them. So the first one was under Takato Tamagami, he's here. And the second design team was under professor from Greece, Wesley's. And the, this third design was with professor from Stanford. And here, this professor from Mexico, he wasn't able to come, so the three students did their work on their own. And they were from Oregon University, Todai, and another Je Tokyo City University. This uh, design was done by professor Erin Moore's team, from or and she's from Oregon University. And this team is with uh, Beth Weinstein from University of Arizona. And this team is made up of students from Stanford, from Greece, from Arizona, and the team of a Bucci professor. He's from Todai as well. 
And another Todai professor's team is uh, Ko Nakamura. And here's all of us. <laughs> and I will like Kanga Kuma-san to talk about uh, all of them. Um, yeah, thank you very much for coming. Uh, so, uh, the I want to explain so what I we did in last uh, last week. Uh, there is uh, uh, a very unique experience for the student. And uh, the, the one uniqueness is uh, uh, the one point is as uh, uh, is a uh, is a workshop, but uh, some seven universities uh, participated. That is one unique shop. And uh, usually, as a, as a Japanese student, is is, is, is um, very conservative in the sense, in one sense. But the, we are pushing them to do the, the ex some exchange program with the following universities. And we are, uh, the, uh, the, in the last few years, we are doing the that kind of workshop with Harvard University as a and Princeton, Columbia, that kind of universities. But it is only one-to-one -one. It has a relationship. But for this workshop, because of Sonia's effort, the seven universities and seven different cultures can come together for this event. And the seven different wisdom and seven different technique, seven different designs are they join together, and uh, it is very. It's probably his first time for Tokyo University's architecture department to do, do, do such kind of the multicultural as experience. And the second thing for this, the second uniqueness of this uh, the workshop is this workshop is. The, as happens in the three places, as the one in the, in the Ise, in the Ise, as a, as a we, as a, the, the purpose of uh, the, as our visit to Ise, is to learn something from Japanese carpenters. So even for a Japanese student, to learn from the, the Japanese carpenter directly is not so often. And uh, and so because of the as a as a, as a good arrangement, we can the directly discuss with Japanese carpenters who actually are involved as a, in the ECS reconstruction. It is it is very very as a exceptional to be able to meet with them, and also the, we visited the factory of them. And, the, and also we can visit the forest, so obviously the, 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 the most of Japanese knows the, the final result, the building itself. But we as a, could study the process, total process from the beginning, the forest is the beginning, and the factory is a, the, the, the realization as a place, and then the dance result. So, so it, it probably is a, it is a, is a big as a as a the fruit for the student for their total total career. And second, the thing is we went to Ogatsu. Probably you know Ogatsu. It's is a Ogatsu is a uh, north of Sendai. Is a it's uh, the town is one of the most uh, the destroyed uh, the, the town in Tohoku area. The eighty percent of the town was uh, destroyed, and uh, and we as a, as a, we stayed the old elementary school in Ogatsu. Do you have the? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the, 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 this picture is, is not, is not yeah, good. <laughs> it doesn't show the beauty of the school, but I want to explain the, the, the uniqueness of the school. Yeah, the background. Yeah. As, as a, that school uh, was built in Taisho era, 
and, uh, and by the special carpenter group. The, the name of the carpenter group is Kesen Daiku, Kesen Carpenter. And the Kesen Daiku is, uh, was very famous in Edo era. The, because, the, because of the poorness of the Tohoku area, the, they should work in, Tohoku, in, in Tokyo, Edo. As a, and uh, especially in the, from win, as a autumn to winters, they 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 couldn't as a, do as a farming in Tohoku, and uh, they as a went out to Tokyo, Tokyo and uh, to do the carpenter's job. But the the special as but what they did is really amazing because of the quality. As a, and in that kind of the, uh, the working style is called dekasegi. But, as a, but the image of the dekasegi was not so good. But what Kesendai did as dekasegi was showing the special quality to the people in Tokyo. And, uh, and so what is the difference of the Tokyo carpenter and Kesen carpenters? As a, one thing is that they are the very um, the scientific approach for the structure of the building. The, 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 I also check the structure system of this the elementary school by them. And the day the, they the, the use the truss structure system, you know, truss structure system, the triangular strong structure system, we call it truss. And the truss structures was not so popular in Japan because in Japan, the basically the, uh, our structure system is post and beam. The basically, the, the, it's a, a perpendicular system. The 90 degrees is the basis of the geometry of Japanese uh, carpenter system. But, uh, but the structurally, the truss system is stronger than the normal Japanese system. And then the Ogatsu Daiku as a, as a, as a, as a uses, uses to us lectures very often for their building. And then they are very modern, they are, they are very scientific. So they came from Tohoku, but they are the, the, they are actually they were leading the Tohoku, the, Jap, the, the Japanese carpenter, as a carpenter, as a carpenter ship. And the second thing is the, they are very flexible. The if clients need something, they can do anything. The, 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 the flexibility of Tohoku people, the hospitality of Tohoku people as a, as a helps as a, as a Ogatsu's reputation. And uh, I still as a, as a, as a, uh, impressed by what they did in Edo. And uh, probably uh, this is one of the most uh, as a spectacular as a capital group is in Japan. In Japan, so historically, we have some the, the, the famous carpenter group. The, uh, the Hida Takayama is one of them. And Ogatsu, I'm sorry, in Tohoku area, Ogatsu probably Ogatsu is the best. And uh, in the West area, uh, we have another the group. But uh, the, I love the beauty and the, the, and the modern te the technology of Ogatsu group. And uh, this is a elementary school is one of the good example of the, uh, their, uh, their uh, the, uh, the technique. And the Kesen Daiku is as a, as a, now the already Kesen Daiku disappeared. It's, a, it's very, very sad for us. But the, the, still, the building remains. And if so we can preserve this building, if we can do the, the, ref, the, the good refurbishment of this building, as a, as a, it, it helps the the very, it helps our the architecture design the, the development very much. And the, this is the second thing. 
And third thing, third uniqueness of our, uh, what we did for in last week is to design the pavilion. So design the pavilion like that. The the that pavilion is not the the normal pavilion. The the basic idea behind that pavilion project is to find find new design direction of architecture. That direction is called the um, as a material equilibrium. <laughs> as a as one thing is material is the theme of this pavilion. The the shape is a secondary thing. So because we believe the material is in very important for sustainable design. The, the we want to find the alternative material the, the from the concrete or the steel. In 20th century, the most of the architectures uh, were as a, as a, uh, constructed by concrete and steel, but concrete and steel is a, as a, as a, for not so good for energy consuming and the sustainability of the society. And then we try to find the alternative materials. As a, and, and for that project, so that is one theme. And another theme is a, uh, as a mobility. As a, we as a, are looking for the, as a new lifestyle as a, beyond the 20th century's uh, suburbia style. It's a suburbia, suburb, 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 we call it suburbia, suburbia lifestyle, suburbia lifestyle. <laughs> and in 20th century, the suburbia is an is a ideal lifestyle, but so, so we think in 21st century, there's some kind of as a nomad style as a, can fit our society and our lifestyle. And the, 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 those pavilions is, is, can be as a model for the new the nomad style, nomad lifestyle. And the nomad lifestyle with a sustainable material is a, is a theme of this workshop. And I want to explain some of the interesting example. This, this is a pavilion as a, as a, as a got award. As a, uh, for materiality, and the material of that pavilion is thatch, wara, kaya 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 buki wara buki. Is a, is a, as a, we learned that is a, is a material from Ise Shrine. Ise Shrine is a roof is a, was made by that thatch, and but Ise Shrine is a is a, is a, is a typical is a classic is a triangular roof. But the, the use of thatch for this pavilion is creating the, 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 some kind of wall, and the water is, is circulating in the bowl. And the, then the, if it has, it has rain, the rain waters can circulate in that, bill, in that pavilion. This is a very interesting idea. This is not only for the shape. As a, it's also proposed as a, some kind of the new sustainable water circulating system. And uh, another interesting example is this. This also got the award of citizenship. As a, the idea of this pavilion is, this is a kitchen. The, this kitchen is, uh, is supplying the, the organic food so for the people. And uh, this is not only for living. Is a, is a, is a, is a, the purpose of this pavilion is to create the, the new the, as a, as a, as a circulation of the food and uh, coming from the organic farm and supplying to the peoples. And, uh, and this is not the private house. This is a kind of social as a, as a, as a sphere, as a, as a, as a, and everybody can enjoy organic food in that, uh, in, in that building. 
can you explain what is the material on top? What is this that? is, yeah, this is, it, it looks like cloud, but actually in that cloud, the wooden, tea, wooden, the, uh, the wooden board, very thin wooden board as a mixing together to as a, as a create this soft volume. It is very light, but uh, structurally it's, it is very strong. Made of wood. Made of wood as a covered by the special fabric. Oh, it's okay, fabric covered. Wow. It's <laughs> amazing. It's like the makura, you know, oh, the right. makura <laughs> pillow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, the, that this, uh, this is uh, uh, as another awarded project. Is a, is a, this project won the, the prize of beauty. And, uh, and the curve is beautiful. So because the curve is a natural the curve. This is not artificial curve. The material for this pavilion is, is very, very unique. It's a nankin tamasudare. <laughs> Do you know that? Anybody know that in English? The nankin tamasudare is a, as a kind of as a screen. But the screen is, is, is a toy. As a, and uh, it's, it, it's a difficult to explain the detail of Nankin Tamasubare, but uh, it is folded, it can be folded and also it can be slided. And uh, by the use of that special toy, traditional toy, as a, as a one can create this pavilion very easily. And, uh, and, and easy, but at the same time, the structurally, it is is a very very as a strong and very reasonable. And, uh, is that particularly Japanese? Is this structure Japanese made? The structure? Yeah. Is that a? Yeah. The, from the material Japanese? is is bamboo. Oh. Well, the bamboo load uh, is tied together to create this namkin tamasudare. And the, those, those three pavilions are, are probably the best so from eight pavilions we did. And, uh, but as the others, uh, idea is also very, very is, uh, is interesting. And uh, also, the, we invited the, the, the juries from different fields, the ambassadors and uh, Professor Yolo, the, he's very famous doctors and light, lighters. And, uh, and uh, is a very famous sculptor, the Yuki Sans are also yes. participating. And Miyazuki, theater actress, uh, movie actress, mm -hmm. and sculptor. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and as, as, a, as, a, as a beginning, so I, 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 I worried that the three diff the d different people cannot have the one conclusion. But as a, finally, as a we can as, uh, have the one, as, uh, one single as, uh, as, uh, so conclusions uh, easily, and so we become very friend, good friends. And the and the, today, the, uh, so we so together to do we're gonna do, or do the, the the closing symposium in Tokyo University, uh, start from six o'clock, and. Uh, Six thirty, <laughs> and, uh, from and six, yeah, six o'clock. Uh, the symposium will start. Reception reception is about five thirty, and then first uh, speech will be by Kango Kuma, and then our.